All right guys, today I wanna to talk to you about five easy ways I found to trick out my workspace, make it more fun to be in, and overall just function as a better space to spend my day in. I switched to working from home earlier this year and it was a little rough at first. It took me a while to get my workspace just right so that I didn't get restless or bored all day. So here is my top five. Starting off the list at number five is my overhead lights. Now, some of you might not even think about this, but when I started working from home, it was winter and I was really distracted by the short days and the sudden darkness. I wanted some daylight in my office. So I replaced my 2,700K soft white light bulbs with 5,000K blue white light bulbs. Not only are the new light bulbs much cooler temperature, but they also are LED. At only 13 watts, they are energy efficient and you can save on your power bill as well. It might seem like a simple thing, but when you work from home, it's nice to have sunlight lighting during the eight hour workday. Number four, some wall art. I've accumulated my wall art over time. Some of them are gifts from holidays and others I purchased myself. The main thing you want to focus on when purchasing wall art is to make sure that it is something meaningful or interesting to you. I like video games in Zelda, so a lot of my wall art reflects that. When you work remotely like me, your home is your workspace. So when you are frustrated at work, you just want to escape. So simply leaning back in your chair and looking at a totally customized wall is a nice way to do that. Number three, a cable grommet extension. I actually just recently got this for my Apex standing desk, but what it does is allow you to have two 115 volt plugins at the top of your desk. While it might not seem super convenient at first, I absolutely love this addition. I can plug in my laptop or anything in to charge that might require more than just USB power. In addition, if you have a tall or standing desk like I do, it helps a ton when you want something on your desk that does not have a long enough power cable to reach the wall. Which leads me pretty well into my next item on the list, number two, accent lights. I just recently added these and I love them a lot. I got an LED light strip that I use to line my desk, and while it is not noticeable in the daytime, when the sun goes down, it allows me to see my office without any other light on. I also have a blue desk lamp that I use for lighting shots when filming, and when I work on something at my desk late at night. I currently am using both of these in my power extension cable grommets because neither the lamp cord nor the LED strip cord are long enough to reach the wall when my desk is at full height. Last but not least, number one, a nice desk and chair. I am not going to talk about my desk because I already made a video about it. You can check that video out here. Something I have not yet talked about though is my chair. I have purchased a ton of chairs over the past few years and I have tried out different fabrics and materials. Leather, cloth, wooden, cloth padding, all kinds of different stuff. This chair is the high back executive memory foam chair from Flash Furniture and I love it. The main reason I got it is because it has memory foam cushion and is super comfortable, but also has memory foam armrests. Unlike normal fabric cushion padded chairs, all the padding in this chair is memory foam and you can feel it the second you sit down. It has a great feel and I cannot stand anything but memory foam now. It also has the standard features like 360 degree rotation and adjustable height. While I do not have any complaints about the chair, it is important to note that this is not pug proof. It is also worth noting that one of the reasons I got the standing desk was to allow me to stand up periodically throughout the day when working to get the blood flowing. So that's my top five. Hopefully you guys liked it and you can put your own spin on it and end up with an office or workspace that encourages productivity. I will link some of the products in the description if anyone is interested. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to become a subscriber. Later.